There are a large number of animals that are represented in Himalayan art. We've already discussed some of them, such as snake imagery, elephants, dogs. But uh, a tiger, the tiger is also very common. And uh, it has a very early uh, beginning with, with Buddhism because we, we really do have the story, the Jataka story of uh, the starving tigress and the Bodhisattva giving up his own body for the tigress and, uh, and her cubs, depending on the story that, uh, that you're reading. There are different variations of these, these early stories. But to understand the tiger uh, symbolism and imagery in Himalayan art, we really have to divide it up into four topics, really the uh, persons, deities, uh, symbolic, and astrological. Astrological is easy uh, because uh, the tiger is one of the 12 signs in the uh, Asian, sort of pan-Asian zodiac, um, and can appear in astrological charts and, and different uh, uh, forms of illuminated texts uh, discussing astrology. But that's not the primary uh, uh, place where we find this, this imagery, which can be very strong, very dynamic, very robust. Uh, so, so with persons, we have it with Shakyamuni Buddha, and the starving tiger's tail, but then we also have it with Dharmatala, the the attendant to the sixteen elders, the sixteen Staviras, um, who visited uh, China, and uh, when the sixteen elders were staying in China, uh, they often visited a, a certain mountain, and it was a little bit dangerous. They did pilgrimage to a certain holy mountain, and so Dharmatala, the attendant to the sixteen elders, he emanated from his right knee uh, a very fearsome tiger to help protect the elders as they were traveling up this mountain on pilgrimage. Now another figure would be Dombi Haruka, the Mahasiddha. Um, he was once a, a uh, a prince, and then uh, later on uh, became a, a, a Buddhist uh, siddha, and uh, meditated in the jungles, and came out of the jungles one time with his consort, and they were both seated on the back of, uh, of uh, a tigress. Uh, the student of Padmasambhava, uh, Sokpotlapal, uh, he also um, he holds a tiger with a chain, or a tiger is is uh, depicted next to him. Um, also, we have Tsongkhapa shown in a in a siddha form based on a vision of uh, of um, it would be Gaelic, I believe. Uh, no, sorry, it would be Kedrup uh, had a vision of uh, Tsongkhapa in a number of different forms, and one of them is as a siddha similar to uh, Dombi Haruka. Um, now, for the deities, we have a number of deities that can actually uh, stand on a tiger. We, we have uh, uh, the Viagra Vahana uh, Mahakala, and uh, who stands on a tiger. Then we have the wrathful form of Padmasambhava called uh, Dorje Drolo, who stands atop a pregnant tigress. And there are some others, and we can also find the, these uh, Traman deities, these amalgamated deities of part animal, part uh, part human, um, and we have, uh, I think in the Sim Simhamukha uh, three deity and five deity configuration, we can find some of the retinue figures have a, a tiger face. Um, so these can be found throughout uh, different uh, systems, both Sarma and Terma of, of Tibetan Buddhism. Now, for symbolic uh, uh, examples, we have the four animals of dignity. Now, these four animals really are, are the four animals that, that we also find in the corners of prayer flags. And the tiger is one of them. Then also as a symbolic uh, kind of, of uh, image, we have another figure of a Mongolian with a large chain and holding a tiger. And, and this, yes, is, sounds very similar to the Sokpohlapal, but, but it's actually a bit different because the Mongolian and the tiger has a completely different meaning. And to some people, it can have a meaning of uh, uh, the three lords 
of, uh, of Manjushri Avalokiteshvara and Vajrapani, being the Mongolian, the chain, and the tiger. To others, it's a political statement, which means that the the uh, early Gelugagandan Podrang government controls the Mongolians, and if other uh, groups within Tibet who are not aligned to the Gandan Podrang, then the the government can let loose the Mongolian and the tiger on those people. So it can be taken as a very negative kind of threatening uh, image. So. Also within within uh, iconographic imagery, we also have the tiger skin skirt, which is generally worn by most uh, wrathful deities, uh, as opposed to the female wrathful deities, which would wear a leopard skin skirt. So that's just talking about a few of the of the types of uh, imagery we find depicting uh, forms of tigers. So, if you found this useful, press the like button. Uh, you can always comment, you can share, and you can always support the Himalayan Art Resources website, uh, Har on Patreon.